everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to install Git on Mac. For the installer, go to the website git-scm.com, the official web page for Git, slash download. So this is the downloads tab on the official website. Here you have several options for downloading Git on Mac OS, Windows, and Linux, commonly known as Unix as well. Then you can select your download from any button, such as on Mac OS, if you have a Mac computer. This will work regardless of the chip you have, Intel or M1. There are several options for installing Git on Mac OS. Number one with Homebrew, another option Mac ports, another option is with Xcode, another option is with a binary installer. You can build from the source or install another one, Git GUI, that's an extra one. So the most easy way to install Git is with Homebrew. So previously we installed Homebrew. Brew is available for Mac or Linux. So if you have Brew, you can then use it to install other packages like Git. This is a very common function, one of the primary functions for Brew. So as long as you have Brew, you can use this command, Brew install Git. So copy this command, then open the terminal application on your computer. The terminal application comes with every Mac computer. So just pop open the terminal and paste in the command brew install git. You can also type it in. This command means that we are using brew to do something. We're using the command install, which means we're using brew to install something. And then we pass in git because git is the package that we are installing. So in total, we're going to install git. Hit enter to execute the command and the installation will begin. Now, in my case, the installation already happened. So I get the message that Git 2.35.1 is already installed and up to date. If you want, you can reinstall with the command reinstall. So I can try brew reinstall Git and hit enter. This is going to be likely what you'll see if you are installing Git for the first time. So you'll see that we are downloading, installing, and there should be a summary that you now have Git at this location on your computer. All right, so you should see that the completions and functions have been installed to a location on your computer. If you get this success message, that means you have Git available now. If you get an error message, then read the error message carefully and search it up online so that you can find a solution. If you get any prompts to do any extra steps, then follow those prompts to do those steps. Now you should be able to access git with the command git. So if I type in git into this terminal or any terminal, then I am going to see options or suggestions for what I can do with git. If you don't see git available, then likely you didn't install correctly. Also, you may have to add git to your path variables if you still can't use it in this terminal or a new terminal. And another option is to try restarting your computer or restarting the terminal app to make sure that the changes have been implemented. Sometimes it takes a refresh for the changes to your computer to be implemented. Then you can check your Git version with git dash dash version. So I'm using version 2.35.1. And that is how you can install Git on Mac. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.